Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. After the test failure in October 2020, the DRD on Wednesday has test fired the 1000 km range nearby cruise missile from Chandipur test facility in Odisha. The subsonic cruise missile was fired at 9.55 am and was tested for 100 km in flight and 15 minutes in time. However, the one question that keeps coming up is why DIDO keeps on testing this missile even after many failures. In today's video, we will try to focus on the prominent features of this missile and its importance for India. First, let's try to understand why the recent test was an important milestone in its development. The test launch of indigenous technology cruise missile was conducted with a new GTRA developed small turbofan engine of 4.5 kN class engine was satisfactory. During the test, the turbofan engine performed well. This is the first successful test of Nirbhay with indigenous engine. The focus on latest trial was to gauge the performance of the new engine. Two more trials have been planned where the focus will be to validate the turbofan engine performance further. The next trial will be of its full range and one more will be to demonstrate its ability to fly at low level flying while navigating to multiple waypoints. The new turbo engine will not only boost the indigenous component in the missile but will also reduce its overall cost. The success of indigenous turbofan engine will further pave the way for the air launched version of ITCM which is planned to be tested in 2022 or 23 and will supplement the BrahMos A missile. Now let's try to understand the unique feature of this missile. Nirbhaya has wings and tail fins. It blasts off like a rocket but then unlike a missile it turns into an aircraft and cruise towards a target. Midway in its flight the missile's wing open up by the commands generated by the sophisticated onboard computer for stabilizing the flight path. The Nirva missile has a lottering capability which means it can go around a target and perform several maneuvers and then re-engage it. Once near the target it can even hover over it striking at will from any direction. The missile is capable of flying at different altitudes ranging from 500 meters to 4 km above the ground and can also fly at low altitudes like low tree level to avoid detection by enemy radar. It can strike targets more than 700 km away carrying nuclear warheads giving India the capability to strike deep into the enemy territory. It gives in the capability to launch different kinds of payload at different ranges from various platforms at a very low cost. It can be launched from a mobile launcher. The missile has a fire and forget system that cannot be jammed. It is well known that India has acquired every technology in missile system from ballistic missiles to supersonic cruise missile with range from 290 km to 5500 km. To further strengthen our power and to compete with the rest of the world, we need to keep updating our pool of warheads. Pakistan is already equipped with two subsonic cruise missiles, RAD and Babur. Pakistani Babur missile is not self-developed but rather a gift from Chinese after Pakistan's help in reverse engineering Tomahawk which is a US cruise missile. As per former Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, Pakistan brought Tomahawk missiles from Balochistan when Clinton has fired missiles into Afghanistan. One of the Tomahawk missiles was found undamaged and reproduced through reverse engineering. As we all know that India has made ballistic missiles and tactical missiles of different capacity but was lacking mystery in the making of a cruise missile. With Nirbhay, India becomes one of the few countries which has homegrown cruise missiles. It will be India's answer to America's Tomahawk and Pakistan's Babur missile. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. 
Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.